What's going on people, it's Low Heat, and in this video we're checking out UVI's 8-bit synth. I will play some of the presets so you can hear how it sounds. We're gonna go through the interface and the features of this instrument. And finally, I'll be making a beat with the UVI 8-bit synth. So let's do it! <music> So UVI did send me this instrument to check it out, but this is definitely not a sponsored video. So the 8-bit synth is actually a sample-based instrument by UVI and it works inside the UVI workstation. It's inspired by vintage computers and gaming systems and contains custom presets using sounds from the Commodore 64, the Game Boy, the Seed Station and other legendary gaming devices. So it's really great for chip tunes and for 8-bit soundtracks, but it's much more than that. It can sound really contemporary, as we will see in a moment. So like I said, it runs in UVI Workstation, which is a free product that comes with the library. And you will need an iLock account to authorize the product. A bit inconvenient, but it's not really a huge problem. Being a sample-based instrument, it actually requires 13 gigabytes of hard drive space for all the sample content that it uses for the sound. But yeah, it's a really cute interface and it sounds great as we will hear in a second. So let's load some presets and play them. So let's start with an initialized patch and have a look at the interface of 8-bit synth. So you've got the sit and the chips as two sound sources, sort of like two oscillators. And here are the sounds from the sit and here are the sounds from the Game Boy, from the Commodore 64 and so on. So only the seed is on now, let's turn on the chips. And you can scroll through the waveforms with this arrow here. On their own they sound really basic, but with the effects and the filters and the modulations, you can achieve some really great sounds, as you just heard from the preset. So you've got your envelope and filter section down here and you can apply it for the seed section, for the chip section or for both. So we have a low pass filter, a band pass, a high pass, a filter envelope, basically everything 
necessary to shape your sound. On the edit page, you've got a really quick way to assign modulations, so you can assign vibrato. Let's turn off the filter so you can hear it. Going to the mod section, you've got an LFO and a step modulator, which can be routed to the volume, to the filter, and to the pitch. And I chose the sample and hold mode, which is kind of random. Amazing sound, and let's try to add some effects to make it even cooler. So we have a basic EQ, we've got the Thorus, which is a really nice sounding chorus actually. We've got a phaser. A sample which is similar to a chorus and it thickens the sound even more. Delay. Let's turn off the delay and add some spark verb, which is the reverb, obviously. Go to, to the ARP section and we have two separate arpeggiators for the seed sound sources and for the chip sound sources. So that was a quick overview of the interface of the 8-bit synth and now let's check out the beat that I made using only sounds from this instrument except for the drums of course. Obviously it's a really dope instrument, really expiring, very flexible, a lot of presets, but you can actually design your own sounds as well. Actually quite simple to use for beginners, you don't need to be a sound design guru to use this. So pretty awesome instrument, hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video.